Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing TCS NQT Digital Interview Experience of 2023 batch student. This interview happened yesterday, only that is on 15th July 2022. So guys, make sure that you watch this video to the end so that you can get to know the level of the questions which are getting asked in the interviews. Now guys, this is TCS Digital on campus interview experiences which are going on for the 2023 batch students so make sure to subscribe this channel and do not skip any part of this video because a lot of questions i will be discussing in this video guys if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe it as well as join our telegram groups also i am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions relating asked in them all the links you will get in the description box and guys do subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed till now because the increase in subscriber gives me more confidence in making such videos so recently also i made lot of TCS digital interview experiences on my channel so i will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box make sure to visit it if you are preparing for the interviews and recently only i have also made a, a video on TCS ninja interview experience so you can check that video also on my channel so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video Please hit the like button. Okay, so as the date of the interview was 15th July 2022. The branch of my friend is IT. The duration of the entire interview was 30 minutes. The first question, as you all know, will be to introduce yourself. And I have told you in many videos that this question is very important and you can uh, tell about your internships, your project, your extracurricular activities, and all of these things you can tell about your this in the self intro. Okay, so now move to the next question. Uh, but in what languages you are comfortable with? So it is Python and Java. Okay. So my friend said Python and Java. So next one was what is a split function? So again, split function is present in both Python as well as in Java. So you can study about it in detail. About on this link, I will give you this link in the description box. You can visit this link for the answer. Okay. Next question is what are different libraries and packages in Python? So again, there are multiple libraries and packages like NumPy is there, Pandas is there. Uh, matplotlib is there so all these packages and libraries are present so again if you want to read in detail i will give you the link in the description box for this particular thing so the basic idea of this video is to give the clarity on the type of the questions which are getting asked on the digital candidates okay next is what are the negative index in python so again guys uh, the negative indexing only uh, is only present in python only uh, it is not present in java nor in c++ what is the meaning of negative indexing that is we all know that the uh, index uh, uh, index of an array starts with zero, but in Python the index of an array ends with minus one. So here you can see e will be at minus one, b will be at minus two, o will be at minus three, and so on. P will be at minus five. So from starting the indexes are from zero, but if you are want to access the last element from last onwards, then it is starting from minus one, minus two, and so on. So last item is my list that is minus one and that is e. So answer will be e. So I hope now this negative indexing in Python is also clear to you. Next question is what are different types of constructors? So guys in Java there are majorly three types of constructor. Where is one is default constructor, next one is the no argument constructor, and next one is parameterized constructor. Again, you want to if you want to know in detail, you can simply refer Google for it because this video will become very long if I try to explain each of the answers in detail. Okay, I hope this thing is also clear to you. Next is what are static methods? In Java, a static method is a method that belongs to a class rather than an instance of a class. Okay, the method is accessible to every instance of the class. Now, see, in static method, what happens? We declare a method inside a class, but that method will not be uh, exclusive to only single object or single instance. It will be accessible to all the objects that will be formed for that class. So it will uh, it will point to the for every object. This particular method, static method will point to the same uh, same memory location and if, if uh, any changes are happening inside this method it will reflect reflecting all the objects of that particular class so i hope this thing is also clear to you next is what is this keyword so again this keyword refers to the current object in a method or a constructor so this uh, keyword is mostly used when we are uh, when we are writing programs and when we are accessing the variables of the class so then we can refer this keyword to tell that yes we are referring uh, we are referring the method or a constructor of the current object only. Okay, so I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question was what are the different types of inheritance that are present? So again, there are three different types of inheritance like single inheritance is there, where single parent is there and uh, single parent is there and multi-level inheritance is there where class A represents grandparent, 
class b represents par uh, parent and class c represents child there is hierarchical inheritance also where there are two children of a single class okay so these three types of inheritance are present in java so uh, multiple inheritance cannot be attained using classes but it can be attained using interfaces okay so again that point also you have to take in mind okay so i hope this question is also clear to you next question is what are the different types of access specifiers okay so guys for this particular question i have made a separate video on my channel this question is very important as per the interview is concerned so i have made a separate video on this channel i will give you the link in the description box so that you can visit that and uh, see that what are the different types of access specifiers that are present so uh, commonly used access specifiers are public protected default and private each of the definition you can find in that video the links will be present in the i button or in the description box okay next question was what are the difference between public and protected so again in that video i have covered these things also that what are the differences between the uh, different access specifiers so you can refer that video for your reference so i hope this question is also clear to you next question is can we override static methods can we oh, sorry this is something else okay so can we override static methods so simple answer is no we cannot override static methods so again these i think you are getting a better idea that how many uh, how different type of questions are asked in the interviews till now if you have not liked the video or subscribe the channel please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel okay next question was how can we make abstract methods so guys this was the last question of this interview that how can we make abstract methods so again there are the abstract methods are simple methods with no definition only declaration is there but no definition is there okay so i hope the basic understanding of these questions are clear to you but again i will give you these links in the description box so that you can study in detail about each of the questions which are asked in this video so as again thank you for watching this video but if you have not liked or subscribed this channel please do them both because this will be very useful for me as well as i will continue to make more such videos in future guys thank you for watching this video